People have gotten complacent with the fact that we have not seen a lot of these horrible childhood diseases that have been practically eradicated. And uh, the reason is because these vaccination programs do work. Uh, because of the complacency, there is a lot of people who uh, refrain from vaccinating their kids, and it has created a, la a layer of unimmunized uh, population that is at risk to uh, develop these diseases. And these are basically those mini outbreaks that we see from time to time. Unfortunately, with the complacency, uh, people have not seen the hundreds of thousands of uh, patients that have died from polio, or the thousands of babies that have been brain damaged from measles, or uh, the uh, hundreds of thousands of babies that have not been uh, saved uh, by, from pertussis and got brain damaged or died due to pertussis or what we call uh, whooping cough. And uh, unfortunately, if we stop vaccinating children, uh, we are going to start seeing again those horrible diseases. And uh, uh, the consequence of those diseases are dead, brain damaged, or uh, severely afflicted uh, children. A very famous PX infectious disease guy, Saul Kuban, used to be at NYU, said in a lecture one time I attended, before vaccines, one kid in six would have died before the first grade, before the vaccines were around. You don't hear that anymore. I don't know if that's accurate, but it always stuck in my head. We're saving one kid in six from death. Uh, I don't know what the numbers are, but there's no question. Uh, on, an, on, a, on a personal note, I, I am a victim of polio myself. Although I fared pretty well, uh, I know what this disease can do. So I personally also know what vaccinations uh, can do in order to save uh, children uh, from and uh, how they can fare as, as adults if they end up uh, well without all these horrible diseases that uh, thank, thankfully we do not see anymore. Well, in the 50s, kids didn't go to camp so quickly because they were afraid of outbreaks of polio. Mm -hmm. There's no more fear. Now, polio has basically been totally eradicated in the United States. There's a little of pocket the in Iraq, I heard, and people go around risking their life immunizing the children of Iraq because it's a very dangerous country to go around mm -hmm. doing those things. So it, it is a little pocket here and there, but it's very rare, thank God. Yes. While we talk about the fact that we don't see diseases that uh, have been eradicated by vaccinations, such as uh, polio, for instance, a classic example is uh, smallpox. I mean, we do not see smallpox anymore. That's a disease that has killed over the years and over the centuries millions and millions of people and uh, basically has been eradicated initially through uh, vaccination and lately through good health care. Uh, so uh, there's no question that uh, people who avoid vaccinating their children, although they may be uh, looking at the, at the uh, small change uh, return, uh, they're missing the whole picture of uh, and the danger that they may pose on their own children and, and society as a whole. I mean, there's no question, any drug, any vaccine, there's always a little concern. But the concern against the disease, which is so horrible, and I'm sure there are some kids that got hurt by it. It's rare. We can't think of anybody recently in our neighborhood, Brooklyn, if anybody could hurt by any vaccine last year or two that I know about. No. Again, I mean, uh, there is a risk in anything. I mean, you take an aspirin tablet, something can happen. There are always anecdotal side effects or rare, rare complications. But in general, vaccines have been safe. They have saved millions and millions of children from horrible outcomes. And they... There is no reason not to vaccinate the children. Uh, one of the reasons, again, that we have all this movement and fear of uh, vaccines is because we haven't seen the horrible effects of those real horrible diseases and what they're capable of.